Hey guys, what's up? I suck the trend here from One Hive Gazette here with my next video and this is a brand new series uh, that I'm thinking I'm going to do. It's something that I think you guys have been asking for, especially the people that like the defensive parts of my uh, channel being the base building and stuff. And uh, it's not the new series that I kind of hinted at in my last video. Uh, the one that I was going to do every day in addition to a daily upload. This is an idea for a series that uh, would just be like any other series where I do it once a week. Um, you know, like kind of the Clash 101. It's kind of a more rare one. Not as common as the War Recap or a Live Attack or something. But it's something that I think is good because um, a lot of my uh, defensive videos are kind of how to defend against whatever, and uh, I can only make so many of those, like how to defend against Valks, okay, I mean, you go through, there's not that many troops, so I think kind of a regular video like this would be helpful, um, just letting you guys watch me build a base live, this is not pre-recorded, there's no, um, this is 100% live as I'm talking right now, obviously it's not happening because you're watching it on YouTube, it is a recording in that sense, but I'm not looking at a base, I haven't planned out what I'm going to do yet, this is just completely improv, um, so it can kind of show how, you know, how... It's not a perfect base, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I uh, haven't had time to review it and change it. But I'll go ahead and see what I can do in the 15 minutes or whatever uh, that I have for this video. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Basically, I'm just going to go through it. And all my bases look kind of similar. Um, that's just kind of how it works for people. The bases do look kind of similar. But um, there's going to be variations. And I think a lot of you guys like seeing the base build. So anyway, let me know how you like the series in the comments. And I'll... I'll do it on a kind of a, on a more regular basis, like once a week, maybe a little bit less than that. But um, it's something that can replace some of the how tos, which I will still do. But um, you know, I've already done Valks and Dragons and stuff. Oops, so I can't do that many more of those type. Anyway, though, let's get started. Um, CC goes down first on pretty much all my bases. Go ahead and put the queen off on the right side, and uh, I like doing this little compartment, the little queen chamber, whatever you want to call it. Uh, where it's three tiles between her and the wall. That way, that's kind of the ideal way to do it. So that way, you can pretty much be confident she won't hop over. Um, she can, but it's very unlikely. And uh, that's how I usually do it uh, with the CC like that. Um, let's go ahead and put an air defense kind of in the core here. That's always a good thing to do. I don't want to have it pressed up. Going to use the principles of the anti-Valk base, but also use the principles of anti uh, you know, Goho and Anti-Dragon and stuff. So just got to kind of blend all these principles together when making a base. Let's go ahead and close this off right here. Uh, we can go ahead and make it kind of a 7x7 seven seven little core compartment uh, like this. That should uh, be fine. Let's go ahead and put a possible double giant bomb spot here. Whether or not we want to use it, it's a different story, but uh, that could be, yeah, I mean, not the best, but yeah, that could be a double giant bomb spot. Uh, so we'll leave that open for right now uh, in case we want to use that. Uh, let's go ahead and put a cannon there. And let's just do a nice and easy an archer tower there. Another easy possible double giant bomb spot. Uh, we can go ahead and close off this compartment with a sweeper up there. Uh, we'll point that later. And uh, let's put in DE storage just to fill up some space right like that um, and then this size is perfect go ahead and close this off um, yeah we'll just uh, do that and one more down like that okay cool um, at this point I'm kind of let's try a kind of a trickier double giant bomb set for this base let's try a diagonal trigger or no not a diagonal a three-way uh, double giant bomb so we can have it be like a three-way trigger so there can be uh, stuff like that you'll see what I mean in a moment if you don't if you have no idea what I'm talking about it'll become pretty clear in a moment how I'm gonna do this uh, we want to put this right like that um, that kind of negates that so let's move that there that there uh, to make it maybe look a little more believable that there could be something up top uh, but anyway um, let's go ahead and move this over one right like that okay this way um, if they go from that to that they'll get the double trigger that to either that or that and then that going out to one of these pretty much any way you go you're gonna hit both of them uh, so that's the idea for this um, have to put a little bit of space here so they can't drop anything make sure there's no gaps in the base 
let's just fill it in with some of that and go ahead and close off this compartment. Um, it's not really an anti-earthquake compartment, but obviously not all of your compartments are going to be, and uh, no gaps right there, so that's perfect. Um, okay, cool. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my signature kind of two compartments up here to protect the queen. If I have extra later, I can kind of add to the defense of her right there. But for now, I think that's just great. Um, all right, that looks good. And uh, I wanna keep these long, skinny compartments like I talked about in the anti-valk base. So let's have kind of a long, skinny one there. Um, the nice thing is I have like pretty much all, oops, I have pretty much all Lego, or not Lego, lava walls. So I don't have to, you know, mix in. I only have two Legos actually, so that makes it kind of nice, let's see. All right, we can go out to right there, then just cut this thing all the way across. And uh, we'll see how, how many extra walls we have, because this type of base usually leaves a few left over. Let's go ahead and make a, another long and skinny one. Doesn't have to be that big, uh, like that. I'd uh, kind of check the CC radius. Pretty much good on the lure there. Maybe a little bit close there. Uh, we can move it out. We'll, we'll mess with it as we go. But we still have 15 walls, so let's go ahead and uh, just close this thing off right here. Might as well. Um, and let's expand this out a little bit. Uh, we can actually even throw a possible double giant bomb spot uh, in there, I'm thinking. I think we'll go ahead and go like cannon, the uh, archer tower. Yeah, that looks good. Um, okay, let's throw an expo down for kind of anti-queen walk. And what do you know, it can be targeted. Let's move this out one, just so the queen can't target it on a queen walk. Not gonna be as common for the queen walk because of the time constraints, but don't wanna just give it to them too easily. Um, as far as this compartment, uh, we can go ahead and throw a wizard tower. Actually, I didn't even think about air defenses. See, that's one thing of doing it live. Uh, I forgot about managing my air defenses. Uh, so let's go ahead and take out this archer tower, throw in an air defense. That placement's perfect. Um, we can... How are we going to do this? We can go like that. No, no, not going to mess with the double giant bombs there. And like that. So that's good. Uh, another air defense place very nicely. Just need to get that third air defense down, and it would be kind of in this area, you would think, but uh, unfortunately we have the double set, so we can't really screw with that. Um, what should we do here? We can... Ooh, tough situation. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, I'll, I'll think about it. <laughs> let's, let's keep filling in the base. Well, actually, I don't know. It kind of matters to the base. You, that's why you want to get these air defenses down earlier, so you don't get in the problem I'm in right now. Uh, but I can kind of move things around a little bit probably and uh, tweak this base enough to get everything to work out okay. Let's do this. Let's move this <clears throat> this air defense down here. And uh, I wonder if we can do that. Or are those just too close together? Um, I don't know. Let's see. I, I think they're okay for now. I don't like having all those three air defenses clumped up. But I uh, don't have a whole lot of a choice. <clears throat> as long as I want to keep that double giant bomb spot there, uh, I'm going to have to kind of have it like that. I, I think that's okay. Let's just leave it. Um, maybe a little bit of a weakness in this base. Uh, okay. Now that we have that done. Oops, got to put this wall back. I hate when I accidentally deploy stuff. Um, okay. Don't typically see that very much, but kind of a... I wonder what happened if I just placed the mortar there and just left it. What would it, what would it look like in the base? Maybe it would just wouldn't save, I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and put another wizard tower here. Um, obviously we need the archer towers here just to prevent against a minion funnel. We don't want people just to drop down some minions and create a funnel too easily. Uh, we can go ahead and throw a few storages in here, just kind of finish off this compartment. Um, I wonder if we should do the town hall on the inside of the base or on the outside. Um, I haven't actually been a, been a fan of doing this lately. Let's go ahead and do it. Um, we move this out one. I think we have enough walls to do it. Uh, basically what we do is now we have to move this out one. So as we move that, uh, just make this compartment a little bit bigger. Uh, over here, same thing. Right, like that, like that. And uh, move this. 
out one. Do we have the space? No, we're a little bit short. I'll have to borrow walls from somewhere. Uh, okay, here we go. Walls from there. And uh, fill in that. Just need one more wall. Basically what I'm trying to do, if you can't tell already, is I'm trying to get that town hall to be able to fit back there. Because uh, that is kind of a buffer between the where a kill squad might come from and the queen. Uh, you know, the king might get stuck on that, the queen might get stuck on that. It'll make it harder to get to my queen, basically, is the idea. So, I mean, just, I just need one more wall here to fill that in. And, uh, where should I take that from? Uh, let's go ahead and just take it from, why not? Right there. I don't care if they get that air sweeper on a queen walk, no big deal. Uh, okay, we're good there. Let's just leave the queen alone for now. Uh, we can kind of go ahead and throw a few buildings here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shift this down one because I, I, I want this to be, um, I want the queen compartment to be a little bit more protected. So uh, this will go ahead and get that goal achieved. Um, okay, there we go. Boom, boom. All right, everything's good. Keep that gold storage right there. That's not moved over, but whatever. It's fine. Okay, the queen's pretty protected. Uh, that's goal's been achieved. Let's go ahead and get these defenses down, get this moving a little quicker. Uh, I have three Teslas left. I'll have to decide where, where I want my Tesla farm. Um, I have the double giant bombs there. I'll get to that in a minute. But I'm thinking I'm going to do a giant bomb. Probably, I want to keep it out of the core-ish area. So I'm going to probably put it like down here and then have like a cannon and a mortar. Uh, how am I going to do this without, let's just go like that and like that. Go ahead and keep the giant bomb there. I like <coughs> having my single giant bombs uh, close to the outside of the base. So that way if Valks come in, you know, they're not going to get them taken out. They're going to get the hogs that they try to sprinkle in. All going back to my anti-hog video. Um, the air defense there is good though. Let's go ahead and get my, I have my second air sweeper still somewhere. Uh, did I already remove that? Or no, I don't. Never mind. I was hoping to... Yeah, why don't I just get rid of this? I want an air sweeper <clears throat> to prevent the queen from walking in. Excuse me, and getting these two air defenses. Take a sip of water. So, uh, let's see how I can do this. I guess I can point this one down in this direction. How should I, should I point it? Like, yeah, that would be good. Uh, it's not going to affect the healers that much, to be honest. I would like it if the, if I could somehow move it a little bit lower. Uh, why don't we do this? Remove this archer tower. Remove this guy right here. Uh, just go ahead and move this up a little bit. Oh, just go like that. Then another trash building. Uh, what do we have? That. Um, that's good. Okay. And now I can put this air sweeper where I want it to protect against the queen walk entering here to get some of my air defenses. So move it back one and like that's perfect. Have it facing like that. All good. All right. Looks good there. Uh, we'll go ahead and get the rest of these defenses down as best we can. So another giant bomb can be kind of up top here. I'm thinking I want to keep that double spot alive. So, you know, when you're putting down your defenses, you know, keep in mind you want to make it look like you still have these other possible spots for your giant bombs. Let's go ahead and can we go anti-queen walk here? No, there's no room. They still can target it, but whatever. It's fine. Uh, test the farm will probably be... I'll decide on that too. Let's just get this stuff down for now. Okay. Uh, we have the cannon going there. It would be nice if this compartment was one deeper, but it's not. So we'll work with what we have. Uh, get the mortar going up here. Uh, we want to have some bulk here so that way they can't get in here with a few hogs and trigger the double giant bomb set once they know where it is. So let's put down um, a mortar out here too, just to kind of bulk up this area with defenses. Uh, throw that storage there and then throw that there, you know, attract some Valks and stuff. I am probably breaking a few of my anti-Valk rules, but it's it's for the best of the base. I don't want to be completely anti-Valk because then other stuff can get it pretty easily. I'm thinking for the Tesla farm, I'm going to slide this guy like that. And then we're just going to throw the Tesla farm back right here, uh, just like that. You know, a few in each. Um, we can even go like that. 
I know these two are touching, but you know, like I said, whatever, gotta break some rules. Anyway, though, let's go ahead and try to get some point defense loaded up in this area. Uh, oops, I hate it when they grab that by accident. Okay. Um, we'll get a cannon up here to help out. Just have a lot of point defense. Have it be pretty unfriendly to hogs. And when you have this kind of anti-hog uh, area with a bunch of point defense, don't put your giant bombs there, too, because that just makes it too easy to defuse it with the kill squad. So let's find another place for our giant bomb to go. Um, let's see here. A few different candidates of spots. Uh, we could do two double sets of bombs, but actually, yeah, why don't we do that? Um, let's go ahead and put this guy back like that and just throw that on another double set right here. They probably won't be expecting it. It doesn't look like the best double set, but I think it's functional and I think it'll catch some people off guard. So what we can do is uh, we can throw down a... Let's put an expo in this chamber right here, uh, just to get things uh, a little more defenses in the area. Uh, so the, the king down, uh, let's put him at the bottom here like that. I've, I've been getting used to putting the king, king farther and farther out of the base, so the kill squad doesn't take him out unless they specifically come from that side. So we'll see how that works out. Uh, let's put some, let's put that there. And uh, let's just start filling this in. I probably should have some more defenses there, as like I said, as a buffer, or I mean to add some more bulk so this giant bomb set can't be triggered so easily. Um, let's move this guy out like that, let's move this here, and then we can go ahead and throw something down like that right there. Okay, um, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and move this stuff over and add a little more bulk here uh, to try to defend against Val, because we want a little bit more in these outer compartments so the Valks have more trouble getting through here. So we can go ahead and kind of add this up here. Uh, all that looks good, right like that. Um, yeah, and then we can put some stuff in this compartment. Do I have any defenses I'm forgetting about? Make sure I don't. Oh, yeah, I do. <clears throat> wizard Tower and Archer Tower. Okay, so that Wizard Tower placement's great. want to keep them out of range of the air defenses for the most part. And uh, it doesn't hurt to sometimes have one air defense or one in the core, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, just because witches aren't that powerful anymore, don't have to be too scared of them using witches. But we'll go ahead and keep the splash damage kind of spread out in this space. We'll put uh, this guy up here. I know those two defenses are touching, which I said you shouldn't do, but uh, just for the sake of time, if nothing else, not a big deal. Okay, that looks good. And uh, the archer tower, as far as where I'm going to put this guy, uh, choo -choo, uh, where do I need more point defense, I guess, is the question. And uh, I think... I could use a little more up by this double giant bomb set. Uh, why don't we just go ahead and replace that with this archer tower and uh, slide that over one. So basically the idea up here is they're not they're not going to be able to trigger this double giant bomb set. They'd have to come at a weird angle on that and they're going to go from there to there to there to there to there to there to there. So the double giant bomb set should be fine. That's the great thing about the three-way trigger is that it's really hard to, for someone to, it's really hard to mess up the pathing. As long as you have the three defenses on the right positioning around it, you should be good. Um, I can make a tutorial of this later, but uh, for now, that's just kind of what it looks like up there. Anyway, um, and that's just one way it can look. You can do a few different uh, variations of it. As far as the skellies, I like to put them by the king usually, but for this base, I'm going to put them over here to help the Tesla farm get some hogs down if need be, and also help the queen out if someone's trying to come for the queen from that angle. Let's just put them together like that. Okay. Um, I usually like putting one black bomb and one red bomb in this area. As far as my other black bombs, I look for the air defense that's easiest for them to hit with uh, balloons or something. And I, I think if they're going to come in somehow, this might be the one they send their lava hound at because it's kind of a lone air defense. So I'm going to double up on that one, just put a single here. Uh, put these kind of near the wizard towers. That's typically a good idea. And uh, I'll put one by the Tesla farm too, just to add to the carnage if they send balloons through that direction. And we'll go ahead and uh, throw the last one over right here. Okay. Spring traps. I probably should put these down before the bombs, but uh, just going to keep them spread out on this base. As a general rule, I'm going to keep them away from the double giant bomb spots as best I can. Um, let's see here, we'll put one there, 
and uh, we'll put one up in this Tesla farm region. If we move that out one, yeah, but we can't do that. Uh, typically, I like putting them between Teslas, but the Teslas are all kind of packed up, and a lot of times that's going to be how it is. Um, in case they come on the back end and they get to my queen the other way, I want to have a, you know at least one spring there to tr throw off some hogs. Um, we're going to put this last one. Probably going to throw it right in front of here just to try to prevent against the trigger as best I can if they try to come in with some hogs and get it done. Um, and then where I could use some extra damage probably, I would say, tough to know. I'm trying to figure out where to put these single bombs. And I think I'm going to go ahead and throw them right up like this by this archer tower. Um, just make it kind of a... And also the wizard tower is there. Just try to add to the damage the hogs will take if they go through that area. Okay, now it's just trash buildings, I think, if I got everything done. I'm not going to put the flags down, obviously. Uh, but going to fill it in with trash buildings pretty quickly. Um, not the most diligent job here, but uh, you guys, you know can put the trash buildings down pretty much however you want. There's a few little strategies I use, but not that important really. I mean, I, I guess I pretty much try to prevent army camps from being on the corners of the base because army camps are easy to use to create as funnels uh, for your queen walk. So I want to put them kind of in the middle here of these and I can't put it there. Um, the, this base is kind of shifted to the right, which is unfortunate, but I, I wish you could just pick up the whole base and move it to be honest. Anyway, though, let's go ahead and just throw some buildings down. I'm not doing the two next to each other. Um, I thought that was a little bit weird after I looked at it again uh, to do it completely like that. But it, as a general rule, it's not bad to throw a few of those like that on your base where two of them are touching to try to draw the Valks away from where they're trying to be funneled into. Um, that's not a bad touch. Uh, looks like I might run out of trash buildings right here. Probably should have spread them thinner and used the builder's huts a little bit better. I am going to have to put this one on the corner. I just don't, don't have a whole lot of room um, other places. I'll throw this right there, and then I could borrow this, toss it up there, toss a builder's hut there. And uh, I know we're kind of concentrated on builder's huts up here, but no big deal. Anyway, that's the base, guys. I oh, have one more building left. Uh, we'll put it up here then, like that. And... Uh, yeah, there we go. Um, so this is the base as long as everything's been put down. Hope you guys enjoyed this series. Once again, let me know what you think. Uh, 20 minute video, so I'm probably not gonna do this uh, quite as often. And I can't show this base, like any replays on it, cause I can't use it. Basically because it, the traps are out there and if people, you know, in a ranged war, uh, if they find this base, then they can attack me, three-star me easily. It's kind of the policy of our clan. So I can't put my base out on YouTube until I've retired it. And uh, because of that, I can't use this in war. But I'll be sure to show my actual base getting three-starred uh, by a good attack if I decide to, um, which I will do pretty much every time just because, you know, I will retire it after it gets three-starred. So anyway, can't do this series quite as often, but I know you guys like the base builds, and I'm running out of anti... Uh, type bases to do. I just did anti-valks and I uh, already did anti-dragons, you know, anti-hogs obviously. So I'll have some more videos like this as well as a few others regarding different things about defending like maybe how to specifically do the triple uh, trigger on the double giant bomb set. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you like, uh, if you liked it or not in the comments and uh, I probably will do this as a new series. Also, um, have the actual new series which I talked about in the last video. So kind of two new series uh, series is starting. Um, the next one should be starting tomorrow. And it's like I said, it's one that I think I'm going to do, uh, you know, on every, every day. Um, I'm kind of getting tired here, losing my words. But anyway, thanks for watching. Long video, but hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.